I want to talk about cooling of a data center, especially a mining farm a bit. It's um, one of the most important topics for mining. Mining is basically converting electricity to heat, so there's a lot of heat. And uh, cooling your farm is pretty important. Um, I think actually cooling systems and mining farms are maybe part of the most innovative things that happening, that's happening to mining. And uh, there's a, a lot to be learned, a lot of uh, mistakes to be made. So many people, when they build the first uh, farm, they're thinking, okay, I'm gonna get a cooling expert. I'm gonna make sure I get this right. I'm gonna spend some money and hire this expert. So they'll get some guy that says, okay, I've been you know, building cooling system for shopping malls and like skyscrapers all my life. You're like, okay, this guy knows. Or he'll, he'll, or he'll be like, oh, I've been living the last 10 years in Canada and I've been building uh, marijuana farms and they need lots of good cooling and I know exactly what I'm doing. So you get these types of people, like really these are both examples of what happened to us. Um, and I talked to them, okay, cool, yeah, wow, what, do you rec what would you recommend? What would you like to build? Like, how should, how sh what do you recommend that we do? And what they come back with is uh, something like this behind me. Let me just uh, show you. So this here, look at this. This is an air handling unit and a monster at that. All this piping uh, in aluminium here, all this kind of stuff. And here's another one on the other side. It's absolutely massive. Look at this thing. It looks amazing. I'm not even sure what all the different parts actually do, but generally the idea of a air handling unit is that it takes in uh, cold air, fresh air, and it takes in used air. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that the used air is coming from the top, I'm not quite sure. And it mixes them together in the middle, and then it pushes out uh, some kind of um, temperated air out the side. And uh, as you can see from the size of these pipes, this is serious. Like here, let me just put my hand in here for comparison. Uh, that's kind of how big it is. This thing is pretty serious. Uh, it can probably do, you know, he'll have some wonderful numbers when he's proposing this to you, like, oh, it's gonna do, you know, 100,000 cubic meters per hour, and like big numbers like that, and it looks, it all sounds amazing, and, uh, and it doesn't work. No. So this is good for cooling, let's say a shopping mall, or, you know, some kind of department store, or whatever, or maybe even some uh, big industry, uh, working with uh, lots of heavy machinery and generating some heat. But for a mining farm, this is nothing. This is not even scratching the surface of what kind of cooling you need. So, um, let me give you an idea of what it should look like. That's what it should look like. So, if you're running anything at this kind of scale, some little pipes here and there aren't going to help you at all. Uh, you can see these uh, metal kind of tunnels. The air intake is over there on that side, the whole side of the building, and it's sucking air in through the tunnels, uh, cold air, and exhausting it into the, well, the air that you can see here, it's all hot air. Uh, need very good separation between cold and hot, as uh, any miner will be able to tell you, but uh, yeah, this is how it's done. So just compare this, the size of uh, this kind of installation, this kind of airflow that's going on here, back to the pipes, Sorry, the pipes lose. <laughs>